Okay, good evening, everybody. You are watching another casual, cozy Tears of the Kingdom live stream. I am your host, Isabas, and today we are playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom for the first time in a while. And we have a, a cute doggy here rolling around. We are in Lurland Village. Uh, the reason why uh, I'm playing Tears of the Kingdom is because, you know, I, will, I wanted to stream tonight. Wasn't sure what I wanted to stream exactly. And then I thought to myself, hey, what, what about Tears of the Kingdom? I've only played that twice. The first time I played it, I played the tutorial level. And then the second time I played it, I actually beat the game. Um, Annabena, what's up? I like that song, My Torment. Oh, thanks. Uh, you'll be sad to know that My Torment is not going to appear in the re-release of the Toad Album 1 CD. But anyway, uh, hello everybody in the live chat. Hello, hello, how are you all doing? I appreciate you all. I'm glad you're here. I am very glad that you are all here. Oh man, one sec, I'm trying to see, there we go. Okay, why does Toad hate Peach? Uh, because he does, and she enslaves him. How long did you play Tears of the Kingdom in general? I played it, I haven't touched Tears of the Kingdom that much, that much since uh, since I beat it on stream months and months ago. Uh, we need Nakulas and Lamb Gaming in here. True, do you have a Discord? I do, but it's been abandoned for a while. Have you ever played Mario Odyssey before? Just wonder because I saw the song from the game on YouTube channel. I have played Mario Odyssey before. I played about half of it. Honestly, Mario Odyssey's kind of mid. Sorry. Anyway. Not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing in this game, to be honest. Because I've already beaten the main quest. I've already beaten the main quest. And, um... Uh, so we're, and I've done a lot of side quests already. Like, I've rebuilt, rebuilt Lurlin Village. Uh... So we're gonna just try to find some side quests. You know, it's gonna be low-key, chill, casual. Not gonna be doing too much. I just kind of wanted to stream to check in on you guys and say hello. Mario Galaxy is better than uh, Mario Odyssey. Change my mind. Anywho. Um, okay, I have some news, guys. I have some news. The Toad Album 2 releases in one week. It releases one week on April 20th, 420. It's going to be awesome. We are it's we are going it's going to be on Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon and every other major streaming platform. It's going to be on CD. Toad Album 2 is going to be on CD and as I've mentioned before, there is going to be a combo album CD featuring the Toad Album 1 and 2 on the same CD. So if you didn't get the Toad Album 1 when it released on CD 2 years ago, now you can. This is the only way, though. I'm not going to be releasing the Toad Album 1 by itself on CD ever again. And also, we're going to have some merch. We're going to have um, uh, t-shirts and hoodies with the Toad Album 2 album art. It's going to be awesome. And uh, one week from today, when the Toad Album 2 releases, there's going to be a big stream, a big listening party live stream where we're gonna listen to the toad album all together the toad album 2 all together uh, i'm gonna listen to it with you guys in celebration of the album coming out and to just promote the album in general and uh, i'm actually gonna um put that live stream up uh, i'm gonna create that live stream and set a date for it well in advance so we can all listen to the toad album 2 together and if you haven't seen the the trailer for the toad album 2 check it out uh it's my latest upload on the channel so be sure to check that out all right with that out of the way hold on one sec mm. just took a sip of my lovely hard cider I thought I was like an hour late, but only three minutes. Nope. You're good. You're good. Oof. Sorry. Gotta go. Oh, sorry, Melissa Patterson. Um, 
but I'm glad to be back playing this game. You know, th playing playing this game, it feels like, you know, meeting an old friend that you haven't seen in a long time. Now, it's been a long time since I played a game like this, and, you know, I have no real reason to play this game, but I just kind of wanted to. I wanted to get back into it. Uh, so what should we do, guys? What should we do? I've already done... I've done pretty much most of the main quest uh secret of the ring ruins oh yes yeah how do i you know what let's do this secret of the ring ruins i never uh quite completed that that's in uh, kakariko village um Guess we have to go here. How do I? You know what? Let's just travel here. Yeah, so when you have time, register for a Fortnite creator code and then promote it in your community page. What will that do? Toad sixty four says, "You know, it's a good day when our favorite mushroom man goes live." Yeah, so you think you're ever gonna do Elvis? Uh, maybe. The only Elvis songs I know are Jailhouse Rock, Hound Dog. Or you ain't nothing but a hound dog. And I guess can't help falling in love with you is an Elvis song. Those are the only ones I know. Noah Ramster says my birthday's in six days. Oh, well, happy early birthday. Schoolhouse is rock. Oh, yeah. How'd you figure out to sing like Toad? Uh, I just kind of woke up and did it one day. <laughs> Anyway, so it looks like we have to go over here for this side quest. Cloud Snubby Day 597 for yes, yes, I know, Cloud Snubby, I know. I know. I guess it's where that smoke's coming from is where we have to go. I never did the Ring Ruin side quest, so that's what we're doing right now if you're just joining us. Chicken Studios, I sing like Toad all the time now. Thanks a lot, Toad. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Forget exactly what it is I have to do. Oh, it's storming out here, huh? Okay. Ooh! Oh, the Yiga Clan. Lol. Oh, 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 shoot. That's right. It's, it's, it's thunderstorming. We gotta... Oh, shoot. Like, everything's made out of metal. Oh, nope. What else do I have? That's that's metal. All oh, the shields. I guess I can equip that. Um My bow is made out of wood. Good. Okay, we're good. Oh yeah, he dropped some nanners over there. Let's see, what's this? Dear Callip, the influence of the upheaval has spread to the Zonai ruins. By the way, if I sound a little weird, it's because I've been sick this past week, so sorry if I sound a little weird. I sent the Country Toads, my friend told him to turn his volume up. It's funny you mentioned Country Toads, the big bass, because on the Toad album 2, there is a never-before-heard remake of Country Toads that is going to be releasing on the Toad album 2, so keep an eye out for that. A creator code in Fortnite gives you V-Bucks in-game and real money. Interesting. I don't think I'd be able to get the creator code, though, just because I only stream Fortnite occasionally, and it's not my primary content, so I don't think I'd get it, the bad animator. <laughs> Did you see the pillow shape ruin in front of this tent? There shouldn't be artifacts of that kind around here. An anomaly. And there's more. The rubble at the base of the pillar opened, revealing a way inside. A new discovery. Naturally, I'll be going inside to investigate shortly. Join me as soon as you can. Taro. Okay. Alright, one second. Oh, there's a guy inside there. Chicken Studios, Toad Album Toad. You just have to have 1k subs. Oh, well, I've done that. Adding to my workout playlist. Oh, yeah, this guy. Like, everybody has a crush on this guy for some reason. If we can crack all the riddles in this code, I'm sure that even greater discoveries await us. But I'm very interested in that clothing you found. Who knows? It might not. Be the only chest with garb like that inside. That code. Ooh. Curious about it too, huh? Let's go over one more time. Mm. 
where the electric garb hidden at long-necked dragons along the wide mouths for serpent. Have no idea what that means. The purple Nintendo guy says, I was playing Toad's His Paradise one time, and my mom thought I was playing audio of barking dogs. She doesn't know real music. Yeah. My parents don't understand it either. I remember... Here's a funny story. Are you ready for this? Uh, sorry, I, I sometimes interrupt the gameplay to introduce stories and stuff. Um, my mom, I remember when I first started doing Toad content, and I remember when I got approved for monetization in, like, October of, uh, of 2019, my mom said, if you make $20 off this YouTube channel, I will fall on the floor in shock. Then the next month, my first month, which was November, I made like 400. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Yeah, yeah my, my parents don't get the Toad stuff either. They don't get how anybody likes it. So anyway, you only need 1K subs to register. So off stream, search up Fortnite, create a code. Will do that bad animator. Offer a Zonai charge to the altar at the tail. You know, the tall pillars found around these ruins had dragon designs, but what does the bit about forest serpent mean? I heard a song once that compared the Drakozu River to a forest dragon. Could that be related? What What is a Zonai charge, though? And where is this tale with an altar it mentions? Uh, I'm confident that translating this... I'm, tr I'm confident I'm translating this right, but I still don't understand. Much as I want to crack this code, I'm also dying to know what's in that chest I found at the back of the room there. Chest. Shared chest you open had a genuine garment from the Age of Legends. It's more matches the garb the figure in the relief is wearing, or part of it at least. I'd bet you anything there are other chests out there with garments inside. Hmm, what am I missing here? Okay. If you can, give me credit if they accept your registration. Don't worry, the bad animator. Um, you should do... Great gig in the sky by Pink Floyd. It's just a lady screaming with piano. If I ever do a Pink Floyd song, I'm going to do uh, The Wall because that's my favorite Pink Floyd song. People just don't appreciate the soothing voice of Toad. Oh, it looks like I've already gotten this chest here. I don't know... What happens if I ascend up here? What do you think of Mario Wonder? It's kind of mid. Okay. I hate it how the quest markers don't show you where you're supposed to go next. Hmm. My phone was playing your music off Spotify in class, and she made me go in front of the whole class to turn it off. <laughs> yeah, the Toad album is popping off on Spotify. For like the eighth consecutive month in a row, I've made more money off of the Spotify and Apple Music sales than off of YouTube. It's crazy. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Guys, if you know how to complete if you know how to complete the Secret of the Ring Ruins quest, let me know in the live chat. Electric garb. Oops. Keep hitting the wrong button. I'm used to Xbox. Okay, I see there's a serpent. I see a serpent thing there. Let's see if we can get up there. Ascend is so overpowered in this game, by the way. I assume this is like the serpent's head. It said electric garb. 
Uh, that's not the electric garb. Neither is that. Have I not? I don't even know. This is back. I skipped past a whole tree climb with Ascend, yeah. The only Legend Zelda game I played is Link to the Past in 2 minutes of Breath of the Wild. You should play more Breath of the Wild, it's awesome. Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom is awesome, but you should play Breath of the Wild first. You really should. What's up here? I'm honestly not sure what to do in this quest. Which is, I guess, why I haven't really completed it. Well, what is up here? It better not be just like a Korok seed or something. Not even that. Oh, is that the... The serpent thing? Um... How do we... Wait a second. No. Hmm. I'm at a loss here, guys. I'm at a loss. Breath of the Wild is harder than Tears of the Kingdom unless you have the DLC. Um, yeah, you know, that's another thing. I'm sad that there's not going to be any DLC for Tears of the Kingdom. I thought there was going to be, and I think everybody thought there was going to be, and then Nintendo just kind of announced that there wasn't going to be. It's weird, because they did two DLC, uh, two, um, um, two DLC packs for Breath of the Wild, Trial of the Sword, and the Champion's Ballad. I never completed Trial of the Sword, because it was just way too hard. And then the Champion's Ballad, I did complete. Um, and that was really nice. That was something. Okay, I have no idea what to... Issa, where can I find your Discord at? I don't have the link handy, sorry. And honestly, it's been kind of abandoned for a long time. I gotta get around to either fix it up or make a new one. Okay, I have no idea... Guys, do you know how to complete this quest? Hold on, I need a swig of my cider here. <sighs> Where the electric garb hidden at long necked dragons along the wide mouths. Forest Serpent. Offer a Zonai charge to the altar at the tail. Okay, the long-necked one, I assume... I assume the long neck one was, um... Is that one? Let's actually use a send here. Time for a YouTube tutorial. Yeah, but doing that on stream is unprofessional. So I guess I have to wear electric garb here. But I don't know what the electric garb is. It's not this, is it? Highly doubt it. You have to find the hidden electric armor. Okay. And then it said offer a zonai charge at the tail. I don't see anything resembling a tail. Um, I'm gonna head over here. There's some enemies up there. I don't wanna... I don't really wanna fight. And there's some electric keys there. Hmm. It is hidden in chests on the river. Ah, is it... 
Okay. Is it near here then? Can we find it in here? That's a rock. Don't see it. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is a... A goddess Hylia statue. But why is it so shiny? Oh. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's right. I don't have my sword equipped. I didn't have my sword equipped because of the thunderstorm earlier. Let's just see what, why this is all shiny. Let's bring a courage. Hmm. Okay, we got another side quest. Interesting. We might uh, go check that out later. What's this? Oh, just an iron shroom. Hey, so are you ever going to play Pikmin? Probably not. I've never played any of the Pikmin games. I don't really know what they're even about. Okay, so somebody said uh, uh, they are in caves, if that makes sense. They should be lighting up, follow the river south. Ah, okay, thank you for that. Then why don't we get on top of this? Why don't we get on top of this uh, dragon thing and then uh, and then paraglide? Do you oppose against toad slavery? That's a double negative right there, but uh, yeah, Toad should never be enslaved like Princess Peach is doing right now. Okay, so we have to follow this river south. This is south, so I'm just gonna go this way, I, I, I guess. Oh, here's another cave thing. Oh, so is it in here? Aha! We got, um... Oh, we gotta break this. Wait, 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 wait. I know. Okay, we're getting attacked by freaking lizards. Ah, oh, dang it. Shouldn't enemies be drowning? Ouch. Oh, I should be here. Yeah, take that. Oh, is another one? Are you kidding me? Oops. Yeah, take that. Oh, really? That didn't do anything? You can tell how long it's been since I played this game. Because I cannot do... I cannot combat right now. Wait, I should use an electric one if I have one. Ooh, I do have an electro... Yellow choo-choo jelly. Ah, look how much damage that did. There we go. Okay, I need... Ooh, I need, I need you, um, w w I forget this guy's name. It's not Daruk. It's not Daruk, that's the champion, but I forget this. Yanubo, that's his name. Okay, Yanubo, fire! That is so fun to do. Da -da 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 There's a couple hammerhead lizards in here that I'm not even going to bother getting. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Charge trousers. It's a who's Ronald. That's not me. That's that was 
Well, one of the uh, pseudonyms before I called this channel Isabas, it was like Ronald Regan something, which I don't know why. I just created a fake name because um, I don't want to use my real name. I still don't want to use it. But oh, and there's more of these guys here. Um, so before I called the channel Isabas, that's what I um, I called it. I used I started this channel. If you don't know, I started this channel years ago, making crappy Minecraft videos. And here's the other cave. So if you're, um... If you're looking... Through, um... The old Minecraft stuff that I made when I was, like... 12. You're, you've gone too far. The, that bad animator. Charge headdress, okay. So we got the trousers and the headdress. I assume there's body armor somewhere. Oh, there's, there's Zonai constructs here. Is that where we need to go? Or is there another cave? And it's raining, so we won't be able to climb very well. Is it over here? I'm going to see if we can go around these constructs. Completely unrelated, but one time I tried to make a nuke in Minecraft based on the crew design of the bomb. What What are you talking about? There is a Minecraft mod that allows you to, for, to make nukes. And it is very fun. I assume there's one more, right? I assume there's got to be like one more uh, cave and I don't want to mess with these guys. Ah. Try following the river north. Hmm. Ouch! I'm also getting kind of hurt, so I should probably eat up. Let's try to let's eat that. Ouch! Ouch! Said I dropped my shield. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Try following the river north. Okay, well, this is north. I guess we can try to... Oh, oh no, I was using that spare stamina. I shouldn't have done that. That's like emergency. That yellow stamina wheel is like emergencies and it doesn't replenish. Are you kidding me? Wait, let's try using water attacks on this guy. Okay, there we go. Let's try... Using electric choo choo jelly on these MFers. And I got the triple shooter bow thing. Okay, and now they're kinda weak. Let's let's take up arms against these guys. And I hate how these guys can like hop around and dodge. The Master Sword has run out of energy. Are you kidding me, dude? Come on. What are we gonna use now? Um. Um. Actually, wait, no. Well, fine, we'll just use this. Is that it? There we go. Sorry, I gotta go. It's okay. We're getting MFers is the closest we're getting to Issa cursing. Besides S H I T, I think he said that. I've accidentally said that in uh, I think a couple streams. Okay. 
Okay. What are these Zonai constructs doing here? You know what? Let's just open a can of whoop. Whoop something. Ouch! Ouch! <gasps> oh! Where was the last autosave? Okay, where was... What's the... Do we have... Okay. Oh, good. It takes us back right here. Okay. Seven days until Toad Album 2. That's right. Hopefully we don't die here. Oh my gosh! I have no idea what hit me or what did that, but... I need something. Give me that. Again! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Oh man. Could you give the Discord link at the end of the stream in chat by chance? Uh, probably not. Because I'm not proud of the state it's in. It's abandoned. Nobody's on there. Let's fire at these guys with this. Do bombs work against these guys? Oh, I could be using these. And if you're wondering how I have 32, it's called the duplication glitch. That just one-shots these guys. Okay, there we go. One-shotted. Yeah, get one-shotted. How does it feel to get one-shotted? Anything else here? Yes, yeah, so I might be getting a 3DS, so you got any game recommendations? I never had a 3DS. Ooh, is this... Have we already been inside this one? I forget. I think we might have. Yeah, this one... Okay, where's the last one? I assume there's three. Because we got the leggings and the headdress. Somebody said follow the river north. Did I did I miss one? I want to climb up but it's raining so I know I won't be able to. But I could I could ascend. Shut up. Ah! I hate I, I I dropped all my stuff Oh my gosh I dropped my weapon as well cuz these guys suck There's a guy down there. Shut up! <laughs> okay. It's the best. You should pose Mario Kart 64 Toad if you have uh, N64. I don't. Ooh, have I been in this one yet? 
I think I have. Is there no chest piece? Is it just the head and the, um... Is it literally just the head and the pants? Guys, what am I missing here? Can somebody explain it to me? Toad saying, I'm the best. Mario Kart 64 is one of the best audio I've ever heard. I can do that. I'm the best! Or did I get the first chest... Is Or did I get the torso piece from the first one? I don't know where... Where is the torso piece? Oh, here it is! I had it with me all along. I am a moron. I had it with me all along. I'm such an idiot. I am such an idiot. I can die happily now that you said that. Yes, let me go talk to this guy. Now that I've got this. Oh, I've seen those garments before. You look like you could have stepped right out of that mural. It's like I'm talking to someone from the Age of Legends. No one makes discovery after discovery quite like you, Link. You've done it again. This is all so exciting. YouTube ain't giving me a break from the ads. Sorry. I think your discoveries have brought us a step closer to solving the riddle. That where the electric garb part of the code. It could be about the garments from the Age of Legends that you found. So silly is the other part. Offer a zonai charge to the altar at the tail. What is a zonai charge? And this altar at the tail. Where do we start looking for it? Could another tall dragon pillar be marking the altar side just like the others you found? Yeah, I don't know where this um where I'm supposed to offer the zonai charge at the tail. I don't see no tail. Here's a question. I have a question for all of you. One sec. Let me take a swig of my drink. Mm. Question for all of you. The YouTube layout on uh, computers, on, on desktop mode. Is it only for me, but has all of a sudden YouTube changed it? Like it used to be when you watch a YouTube video, the YouTube video is center left. Your recommended videos are on the right. And the comments are below. Have, is it for anyone else they've switched it? So the video is center left, but the comments are on the right and all my recommended videos are down below. Is that just me? Or did YouTube change their layout? The tail is the back of the statue. Back of the statue? I don't know what you're talking about, dumb leg guy. But let me go up here. Let me pull up Chromebook. Hold up. It happens to me when I click on a comment to reply or something. Okay, I have to offer a Zonai charge. I don't know what statue you're talking about. I might just be yapping like usual. Hmm. You'd think it would be really obvious where you're supposed to, like, offer the Zonai charge. Peche says, yo, hey. I don't know where the, I'm supposed to offer this dumb 
Zonai Charge. Link be looking mighty feminine wearing these clothes. Issa, what time zone are you? Not telling. Mwahaha. Mwahaha. You ain't got nothing on me. Anyway, uh, where, where, where am I supposed to? Where am I supposed to put the zone I charge? People, help me. Has your audio ever deep fried? Wait, has your audio ever deep fried? Why? I can't read what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying, the big bass. Somebody tell me where I'm supposed to offer this zone I charge because I'm an idiot and I need help. Uh, I guess, is this depicting somebody offering a zone I charge? Autocorrect is giving me ball cancer, I can tell. On the map, it looks like a snake. At the end of the snake, Marcus tell like where you should go. Okay, then where's this? Like here? I guess I'll mark it. No posteresses, yes, okay. And it's raining again. Ah, oh, finally, Master Sword's power has been restored. It says, just you, I'm on my laptop and it's normal. I gotta show you a screenshot of it. Here's the crazy thing. When I sign out of YouTube from my Google account slash YouTube account, it goes back to normal. And, oh, uh, those guys are there now. Okay, this is the end of the river. This is the end of the river. Wait a second, what's this? What's that? Have I been here before, or is this it? Side quests are fun, it's just a bit confusing. It's about, uh, did you play baseball as a kid? I did play baseball as a kid. Not from my school or anything, I just did it to like recreational k kids leagues in my city. Oh, okay, I think this is it. Here we go. So we have to drop a zone I charge here, huh? Uh, is it under materials where the zone I charges are? Uh, zone I charge. I guess we can hold it and drop it here. Oh! Oh! That did something. Do you have any tips? I have not played baseball in many years, my friend. I played hockey when I was in elementary school. I did baseball when I was in elementary school. I did soccer in elementary and middle school. Ooh. 
Nice, this is cool. Um, Joel Mama says, Have you, slash, will you ever do a face reveal? Lol. I never have, and I never will. Ooh. This is doing something. Whoa! Ah, okay, that cleared the uh, storm that was above there. Have you ever just screamed in Toad's voice at someone before? Not in like a sen not in like a rageful way. Oh. Caleb, did you see that line he struck that dragon po too? Huh? Someone in those ruins? <laughs> oh, it's you again. You think a terrible lightning strike hit here, but I'm glad to see you weren't hurt. Oh. I've never seen lightning strike like that, and even stranger, the dragon statue's eyes seem to glow just before it. Link, if you know anything about this, fill in what happened. Let me explain, blah blah blah. Unbelievable. A mechanism... In the ancient ruins, got rid of the thunderclouds and revealed some new sky islands. Mm. Great catch. Another amazing discovery on the books. In fact, I'd say <laughs> it's the Hall of the Century. Oh. It's a significant discovery, to be sure. I'd like to go investigate further, but we have no way of, of getting up oh. there. Hmm, you're right. That doesn't make it any less exciting, though. We need to report this to Pearl right away. Cop, I'm going back to Kakariko Village. I want to write up the recent events around for the floating ring rune and a report for Pura. You should stick around here to conduct a thorough investigation. Find out if there are any more discoveries to be made. <gasps> what? Well, remain here? You mean alone? Uh. Yes, even if we can't get up to the sky, there's so much to discover on land. It's our duty to unravel all of it. You can do this, Calip. He wants me to investigate alone. Field work isn't my strongest suit, but this may be the chance to make a historic discovery. <laughs> right. Leave this to me, Taro. I'll begin preparing at once. I'll need to head back uh, to our base of operations a bit first. Uh, what was your fav What's your favorite Lego set? Ooh, probably the old Lego police set. I had that, and then I dropped it, and then it all fell apart, and I never got back to building it again. What was the hardest Toad song to do? Hmm, not sure. I'm gonna go buy Toad. Just anyone will. Okay, anyway. So that's the side quest done. Uh, regarding those islands in the sky that are here. Um, a dragon head island. Yeah, uh, I kind of did it without... I kind of did it already, the, the quest that's on these islands, without getting rid of the thunderstorm. It was very hard to do with the thunderstorm still on, but now that it's gone. And what that does is that um, unlocks the um, entrance to Tobio's Hollow Chasm, which is the entrance to the uh, <clears throat> the fifth dungeon in the game. But what I did, actually, I kind of did the dungeons out of order. I did, I actually did the fifth dungeon third. And I discovered it by accident, and there's Yiga Clan here. Um, I discovered it because they're in inside the Tobio's Hollow Chasm. If you don't update your your um your Tears of the Kingdom game, like I have, because they patched it in an update, but I have not installed the update. There is a duplication glitch involving you need you need. I'm going to show it to you because it's so overpowered if you haven't updated your game. I forget what version it has to be, but I have purposely never. Is there a Labo VR mode for Tears of Kingdom like Breath of the Wild? Oh, anybody remember Nintendo Labo? I think they kind of... I have not seen Nintendo shill Nintendo Labo for many years. I never got it. Nintendo Labo was like, that, like those horrible cardboard accessories you could get for your Switch. There was a VR mode, but imagine wearing a literal VR headset made out of cardboard. So you need the Great Eagle bow, or any times three or greater bow, in order to duplicate. In fact, I'm going to show it to you right now. 
watch this I'm gonna show you how to duplicate if you have an early enough if you have an early enough um, version of the game Watch this. This is a tutorial. This is a duplication tutorial. And everyone's like, yeah, wee, it breaks the game. It breaks the game. Yeah, it makes the game more fun. This is how you can get... This is how you can get yourself... Infinite bombs. Infinite uh, ancient blades. And infinite diamonds. You can get infinite anything if you want. Watch this. So you gotta go down here. Once again, this only works on earlier versions of the game. So, you drop down here. This is what you do. You go this way, and I'll tell you when... You have to get a go past a certain point. Because there's, there's like a twilight zone where you're like... Between the surface and the depths. Watch, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. There. There, there, there. The, as soon as you see these, like, little clouds form, you're in the right zone. So... And there's ominous music down here. So, this is what you do. And I discovered this trying to do the duplication glitch. And then I inadvertently just did the dungeon. So this is what you do. You get your Great Eagle Bow. And what we're going to do... I'm kind of low on diamonds. I only have seven. Watch this. We're going to fire these from here into the air. And they just remain frozen in the air. Like that. They remain frozen in the air. And then they'll drop... And sometimes they'll roll away, so you gotta be careful that they don't roll away. They, they'll, or they'll roll down there and disappear. Boom. We just went from 7 diamonds to 9 diamonds. That's why you need a, a times 3 or times 5 bow. And now we'll just do it again. We are just gonna do it again. Thing is, you don't get your arrows back. But you do get this. Great stream, by the way. What the frick? Yup. Yup. This is how you duplicate. They patched this in an update. So, I've intentionally never updated my, my Zelda game. I did do, like, the the day one patch. <clears throat> but if you get... If you... If you buy the uh, Tears of the Kingdom, never update it. Because you won't be able to do this. I think people may have found alternate ways that get around that patch. But, yeah. What the actual Sigma? Yup. So now we're at 13 diamonds. Eventually what'll happen is your great eagle bow will break eventually. But then all you need is like wood and diamonds to make it again. So you can just use the diamonds you duplicate to make it again. That's also why I have 48,000 rupees. Why would they patch it? Who cares? Because Nintendo's like, No, that's not how you're supposed to play the game. Wah, wah, wah. They just don't want us to have fun. Yup. So we're just gonna do this a few times. How many diamonds do I have? We'll just... We'll get up to like 20 or so. We'll do this one more time and then we'll start duplicating other things. I'm gonna go have a good day, Mr. Toad. See you later, the Lego Man 959. Okay, that's 21 diamonds. That's good for now. Uh, what do I need more of? I think I may need more... I know you need wood. I think I may be running low on wood. Yeah. 
Let me try to find wood. I need to duplicate it. Can I attach wood to an arrow or not? You could probably just chop down trees and get it faster. Okay, flint we're good on. Ah, here we go. Wood. Ha <laughs> ha! I've actually never done this with wood before. And then here we go. It's probably cheaper to just chop down trees with it. But we're doing this. And then you're like, oh! I don't know why those, those pieces of wood broke. Sometimes that happens, I guess. Have you done any songs off the album? Hell... Freezes over by the Eagles. No, I haven't. I've never done any of the Eagles songs. Uh, you know what? That's enough wood. We can just chop down trees. Ooh, we can do it for bombs. But you can't shoot it too high. Otherwise, they'll explode when they hit the ground. Look, bomb flowers. And these ones are more liable to roll away. So you get close. And yeah, these are liable to roll away. So you gotta, you gotta be careful. Sebastian, you should do a Toad ASMR video. I already did that, dumb Lego guy. There is a Toad ASMR video on the channel. Uh, I'm probably not going to do another one because a lot of people got weirded out by it. And frankly, it is a little disturbing. But yeah, there, there, yeah look, look for it on my channel. I, I have done it. Oh, the Great Eagle Bow is badly damaged. You know what? We're going to duplicate... We are going to duplicate um, some uh, the ancient blades. We're going to duplicate these since we, we used a couple of them earlier. And normally these ancient blades cost an arm and a leg, but now I have an unlimited supply. And we're just going to keep going until the bow breaks. And then I'm going to just head over to Rito Village and get a new one. Hey, Sebastian, what was your number in baseball? I don't know. My number in hockey was like 23, but I think in baseball, I don't know. I think it might have been 7. Oh, there we go. I forget. I, I, I wasn't smart enough to do anything like 69 or anything like that. Um... Uh, anyway, yeah, let's, um, let's go to Rito Village. Oh, no, that's not it. Anyway. Wait, actually I should cut down some trees first. And what better place to do it than here? I think they do respawn after a while. Do we have anything that would be good at cutting down trees? Yes, we do. Give me that wood. Because I think we need wood to uh, make the, the bow. If I super chatted 500 bucks, would you make a song I requested? Um, honestly, I would as long as the song is appropriate. <clears throat> Yeah, are you gonna super chat 500 bucks the big bass? That's that's my question. Would you actually do it? Oh, we actually kind of need those pine cones They're useful 
sorry for destroying your your landscaping Rito people. What position were you in in baseball? Ah, they rotated us. So I I did, you know, infield, outfield, I did everything. They rotated us. I don't remember if I was ever a pitcher or a catcher. I don't remember that. Um I remember once when I was batting, I got I got domed in the face by a baseball. That wasn't fun. Here's the guy we talked to. You don't have the bow. What a astute observation. Hey, Link, what are you to come? Why don't... Did it break or something? If you collect materials. Five bundles of wood, three diamonds, and a swallow bow. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't think I have the swallow bow. That's right. Uh, and here's a good way to get a swallow bow. That, that's why I have this travel medallion here. That you can get a swallow bow... So you need yeah the five bundles of wood, three diamonds, and the swallow bow, which would normally be very expensive because of the diamonds. But there is one place where a swallow bow will respawn every blood moon, and it's right here. There used to be some glitch in Twitch and something uh, where you could donate zero dollars, but it still made a message. Lol. Oh, there's it's cold here. Um, hello. Hello? Okay. This is awkward. There should be a swallow bow here. And it respawns after every blood moon. I guess there hasn't been a blood moon since I, I picked it up last. Okay. Anyway. Um, let's see. So, how long have I been... We're going on for over an hour, but honestly, I could go on for a little bit longer. But hold on, let's... The music here is so good. Let's take it in. This whole place is a vibe. Such a vibe. Kennelly has a W crib, yes. Such a vibe. Such a vibe. You know what? I'm just gonna go run around to various places. I feel like going to Gerudo Town. So, Gerudo Town, we will go. Hopefully, a blood moon will come around and then I'll show you that the bow respawns. It's, he's, Link is cold. Have you ever played Terraria? Everybody asks me that every single stream. No, I have not played Terraria. Where's the moon? Is there gonna be a blood moon? I think there are some, like, tricks you can use to, like, force a blood moon to happen, but I don't know how to do it. Oh, this person says, oh, Vasak. Well, what do you think of my specially crafted arms of the seven? I need to be used not to gather dust. I mean, you kept them. Mm. Are not irretrievably lost. The arms of the seven. The owner, blah, blah, blah. Ah. <laughs> yeah, all the women here are, um, are large and muscular. So there are some simps out there who... 
like this place. I remember it took me so long to be Vanna Boris because of the Ganon that moves its Lightning McQueen speed. Yes! Oh my gosh! So, in Breath of the Wild, if you don't know, there are four divine beasts that need to be destroyed. Like, giant robot animal things that you can go inside. And there's their machines. And there's a guy trying to sneak into Gerudo Town. Um, it w used to roam, like, over in this desert area over here. It would be stomping around, kicking up dust storms and whatever. Being a nuisance. Being a problem. And, um, you have to go beat it. And here's the thing. I beat that one without a shield somehow. Same. Here's the thing. I beat it first. So, in Breath of the Wild, after you complete the Great Plateau, the game, like, points you in the direction of Kakariko Village. And it, the game kind of wants you to do the Zora's Domain of Varuta Divine Beast first. It kind of points you in that direction, but you totally don't have to. And I found Kakariko Village. But for the life of me, I couldn't, I couldn't find Zoro's Domain. Just couldn't find it. I couldn't find the tower. So I'm like, okay, screw that. What other Divine Beasts are there? And then I thought to myself, well, I haven't explored the area to the west of the Great Plateau. So I did. And I climbed these mountains because I couldn't find the towers. I climbed over the mountains. And then I discovered Gerudo Town, Vanna Boris. And I beat Thunder Blight Ganon first before any of the other Ganons. It was so hard. It took me hours and hours to beat it. And I didn't have any good shields. All I had were pot lids. And then you have to get like the timing just right to parry his attacks and then do like a flurry rush. It was awful. I, th that was definitely not the boss Nintendo wanted you to beat first, but I did. When is your next Toad song coming out, Issa? Probably not until after the Toad album 2 releases. I'll probably release one like after the Toad album 2. I'm not sure what song it'll be, but... Yeah. Why did I come to Gerudo Town? I forget exactly. Um, I totally forgot why I came here. It took me one minute to defeat the Vamedo again, and yeah. I like the music that's here, though. Anyway, can you do another drunk driving video? All oh, like a Mario Kart um, drunk driving video? Maybe. I'm actually drinking right now. I'm, I'm drinking a hard cider. And boy, is it tasty. I thought about doing a Mario Kart video, but honestly, I wanted to do a game that I haven't done. I'm getting bored. I'm getting bored of either playing Fortnite, Mario Kart Wii, or Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. <clears throat> I want to try new stuff. Yes, I know I haven't played Minecraft in a while, but I just there's just nothing on Minecraft I want to do. I don't really care for that many of the games on Hypixel. I don't really want to start a new survival series. Play Terraria. Eh. Is it available for Mac? I don't know. I know what Terraria is. It's like a 2D version of Minecraft. Honestly, sorry to say, it doesn't look that good. I know a lot of people like it, but... Um... A game I really want to play is Buckshot Roulette. And I know they've updated it. And there's a Steam release now. But it's for Windows and Linux only. Mac users like me... Mac users like me are just left in the dust. You know what? You know what, ladies and gentlemen? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go on a rant. Are you ready for this? Hold on. I need I need more alcohol to, inf to fuel this rant. Give me a minute. Oh, 
11 people who are watching right now, you are going to hear me go on a rant about how abused Mac users are, not by Apple, but by the gaming industry and the gaming community. Mac users, Macs are just as good as PCs, if not better. Change my mind. Mac OS is better. Hardware, software integration. Mac OS is just easier to use. The design of Apple computers, I like it. A lot of people don't. Oh, yeah, 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 you can't upgrade it. You can't, you know, everything soldered to the motherboard. Okay, then just buy the amount of RAM that you'll need when you get the computer. It's not that hard. Win, Max are overpriced. Max are overpriced. Okay, yeah, you're paying for a premium experience. Windows sucks. Windows sucks. PCs 75% of the time feel like cheap plastic. Anyway, Mac is better than PC, and yet every single video game is made for PC. And and sometimes Linux, but hardly ever Mac. What why is that? Ah, uh, well, it's the best. It's the best. It's because not many Mac users play games, and so it's not worth the game developer's time to, to port their games over to Mac. Okay. Well, that's the game developer's fault. The reason there's not that many Mac gamers is because there's not that many Mac games. If they just ported more of their games to Mac, the gaming community on Macs would increase, and then it would be worth their while to start... Uh, porting games over to Mac But they're like nope They're not going to port their games over to Mac Because not many people play the Mac versions Well if you, well, if every game had a Mac u version A lot of PC gamers Would switch to Mac and just play on Mac But no The game developers Are racist against Macs They're Macists They're computerists and and you know what you know what I mean. You know they always say PC master race, PC master race. Yeah, they admit it. They're racist against Max. Okay, they're racist against us Apple users. They hate us because of Max, and they sh they crap all over us. And they're like, ha, you use a Mac. You're gaming on a Mac. You have a Mac user. Oh, you're an Apple cuck over here. It's like no, I like a premium experience. Okay. Mac users are just so abused by the gaming community and by developers, and I hate it. Game developers port your games to Mac. It's not that hard. Well, well, well in order to port our games to Mac, we need to buy a, a Mac Mini. We need to buy Apple Mac hardware to do it. Uh, okay, a Mac Mini is going to cost you 500 bucks. All you do is you buy the Mac Mini, you connect your keyboard, mouse, and display to your, your PC display keyboard and mouse. And then you just port the game. You just add a few extra lines of code. $500 isn't going to break anybody. Ah! Okay, that's my rant. I needed to say that because I have been feeling that for so long. For many years, I have been spat on and crapped on by everybody I know for being a Mac user and an Apple loyalist. Yeah, that's right. I am an Apple loyalist. It's called brand loyalty. Everybody's like, yeah, you game on Mac, use a Mac, use the Apple Cup. God, get a gaming PC. It's like everybody, since I was in middle school, people would bully me for using Mac. I remember I, I got into a two-year-long argument with a kid I knew in middle school about what was better, Mac or PC. Okay. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, okay, I, I gotta check the live chat. I have not been reading the live chat. Um... Yeah, and Fortnite used to be on Mac, and then they pulled it from Mac. Uh, when Fortnite releases exclusive stuff, they always use PlayStation, leave Nintendo, and Xbox. And Nintendo. Yeah, Apple and Epic Games, I know you got into a legal dispute, but bring Fortnite back to Mac. I'm tired of plugging my keyboard and mouse into my Xbox to play, because I like to play Fortnite with a keyboard and mouse, and I hate doing it on the Xbox, because the mouse just doesn't feel the same. If you play with a mouse on a, on a computer... And then you play with a mouse on an Xbox, you know what I'm talking about. It just doesn't quite feel the same. I love pl paying $700 for wheels. Okay, then yeah, don't get a Mac Pro. Don't get a Mac Pro. The Mac Pros suck anyway. It's best calm down. It's not that deep. If you're bored, play Hollow Knight. As, uh, for game suggestions, uh, you could try Sonic game LOL. I've never played any Sonic games. Uh, um, okay. Also, I didn't know you were Mac Defender. I am a devout Mac user. I love Macs. You're so versatile. Thank you, Big Bass. Honestly, Mac is alright. I completely respect it as a Windows PC user. It's a Mac is underrated. Max includes free McDonald's gift cards. 
I need like one mod in chat at, at the least. Yeah, I'm loyal to Android. No, I am loyal to Apple. Mac, iOS, AirPods, iPhones. I am loyal to it all. If there's anything Apple made that I can get, I will get the Apple version of it. SL Play Hollow Knight. I think it's back to Mac now. I don't know though. Macs are perfect just like all the other computers. Eh. Use NVIDIA Cloud Gaming. Uh, guys, why can't I get Mac from McDonald's? You got Apple Arcade. Is that, no, I don't have Apple Arcade just because there's just not that many games on there that I want to play. The only games that I play on my Mac are Minecraft, War Thunder, and uh, the Dolphin Emulator for Wii and GameCube games. That's it. I used to play Fortnite on my Mac until Epic Games and Apple got into a legal dispute. And then Epic Games stopped supporting Mac. Which sucks! It's a bad stream, Angry Birds. Angry Birds is not that deep. Also, Intel Macs exist. It wouldn't matter that much if you had to add Mac integration. Uh, I'm actually using an, an Intel Mac right now. I'm using a, a 2019 16-inch MacBook Pro, which was the last Intel Mac Apple ever made. I actually got this Mac like a month before they announced they were switching to their own proprietary processors. And, um... And the thing is, is like Apple, it, Apple made like developer kits and stuff and, and stuff. So it's really not hard to 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 port like Intel Mac stuff over to the ARM uh, architecture. So, and I, I am considering upgrading this laptop within a year or so. I mean, the i9, and th this is a 16 inch MacBook Pro. It has an Intel i9. It has 16 gigs of RAM. It runs decently. You know, when I got it, you know, it was really fast for that era. Now it's just okay. But the problem is it runs really, really hot and the fans get really, really loud. Whereas the, the Apple um, proprietary chips, like the M the M series chips that Apple makes, are a lot more uh, power efficient and they don't get nearly as hot. Anyway, that might work, but maybe if you have the Xbox app, you can play off the phone and connect to the microphone phone, then scream here to the Mac. It might be janky, but could work. I don't know what you're talking about. You could play off the phone and connect a mouse and keyboard on the phone. Oh, and then screen mirror to the Mac. Uh, I do know a way I can screen record my phone. I can do that. Actually, it's really easy on Mac to screen record uh, off your phone content on your computer. All you literally have to do is plug your phone into the computer, open up QuickTime Player or, or any other software like I'm using OBS this will work on OBS or QuickTime and you plug in your phone and you go into the cameras list and it'll list your phone as a camera you click on it boom your phone screen will appear on on uh, your computer and then you can use QuickTime or OBS or whatever to record off of it that's it you don't have to download any apps on your phone you don't have to you know do anything else you just plug it into your computer open up QuickTime select your phone and then you can start recording that's, Mac is, I like Mac, okay? But the stupid game devs refuse to, to port their games to Mac. Well, yeah, because nobody games on a Mac. Yeah, because there's no games available for the Mac. If you made your games available for the Mac, more gamers would switch to Mac, and there would be a bigger Mac market for gamers. Okay. I am willing to debate, you know, have you seen, and I'm, I'm honestly, I'm sort of giving up playing Zelda right now. I'm just wandering around rambling. I'm, 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 uh, I'm yapping right now, but I'm going to do it. You guys are a captive audience. Uh, have you seen that guy on uh, either Twitch or YouTube or your YouTube shorts or whatever? A guy, he's a game dev like called uh, Thor, called Thor. He has like really long hair. And, like, he used to work for Blizzard. Now he posts shorts talking about, like, gaming industry secrets. I, I watched a, a YouTube short of him talking why Mac games don't exist. Talking about how, you know, oh, you have to buy a $500 Mac Mini. And then you have to, so you have to you know, do a little bit of extra work to port it. And in the end, those Mac sales will only be, like, half of 1% of all your sales. So it's not even worth it. It's like, okay. So what? Do it anyway.
A while ago, my parents bought surround sound speakers and someone's order got messed up when we got a Mac for free. Oh, nice. Good for you. That's that. Anyway, that's how I feel about Mac gaming. So yeah, I play Minecraft War Thunder. I'm I was actually pleasantly surprised War Thunder is available for Mac. Ooh, I also play um Gmod on Mac. You do need to play around with some of the settings in order to get it to work. Cause Gmod is inherently a 32-bit game and Macs no longer support 32-bit software, but if you go on the launcher and play around the settings, you can get it to work. I don't like War Thunder. It's good. I tried to stream it, but for some reason, my computer got really slow when I tried to stream War Thunder, so... Uh, yeah. There's a lot of games that I wish I could play on Mac, like Fortnite. I also wish I could play the Fallout series on Mac, because any game that involves shooting with a gun, I prefer playing with a keyboard and mouse. I am better at aiming guns in video games with a keyboard and mouse. I, I just found that I'm better like that. So... Animal Crossing stream will be very, very peaceful. Uh, I don't have Animal Crossing. I've never played an Animal Crossing game before. Interestingly. There's a lot of games I've never played. Issa, can you play Fortnite on NVIDIA? I don't know. War Thunder gives me PTSD. Why? Also... I am going to this stable because I think there's a guy who can predict when the next blood moon will happen because I want to I want a blood moon. I want to get that the the swallow bow. Get animal crossing is very peaceful. I got to start saving my money, dude. Oh, by the way, guys, I have kind of an announcement to make. Another announcement. Uh kind of a bad announcement. Do you guys remember, if you've been with me for like over a year, do you remember how last year I took a three month hiatus from making videos? Looks like I may have to do that again this year. It may be two months, but it may be three months. It's going to be at l it's going to be two to three months. I'm not exactly sure yet because I'm uh, going to be working over the hills and far away. Uh, so for the months of June and July, and maybe August, uh, I will not be around. I will not have access to my recording equipment, my mics and stuff. Uh, I may make a video ahead of time and release it while I'm gone. But uh, I am going to go on hiatus again this summer for the months of June and July and maybe August. Um... Yeah, I've been with you since 2019, best. Thank you, dumb Lego guy. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that, guys, but I figured I'd tell you that now. Um, even though I will be on hiatus, I still will be shipping out the Toad album CDs. Um, those will be shipped out, don't worry about that. Um, but I just, where I'm at, I will be able to ship out the Toad CDs because I'm be shipping it myself, but I will not have access to my, uh, my uh, good microphones and like other equipment that I use to make my videos. Okay, isn't there a guy who can like predict the the moon cycles? Is it you? I don't think it is. Oh yeah, and these guys are playing. This guy looks so cute. Look how cute this guy looks. Aww. Oh, Blood Moon! Let's go! Finally! Let Naki last take over your channel. Nope. Nope, nope. He's a goofy goober. Yes, he is, isn't he? Oh, I'm so happy that there's a blood moon because when the after the blood moon, <clears throat> I'll be able to uh, show you something. I'll be able to go get the um, the swallow bow once it respawns, and then I'll get the the um, the overpowered bow from the from Rito Village. Mm. Anyway.
I'm probably gonna end the stream soon. Like, after I get the Swallow Ball, I'm probably gonna end the stream. King Elijah Robinson says, hi, hi. I don't know if I'll do more Tears of the Kingdom after this, but... I was just in the mood to play this game. This game... This and Breath of the Wild... I I treat Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom as, like, one game. Because they take place in the same universe, same Hyrule. So I treat them as, like, one big game. And we're starting to get... The scary music. The scary music from the Blood Moon. Naculas, um... Uh, posted Toad Sing Peaches a whole month before you. Have you played the old CODs? I've never played Call of Duty. My parents wouldn't let me. Yeah, yeah. Blood Moon. How do I skip it? There we go. Come back to Mario Wonder. I didn't really enjoy Mario Wonder that much, though. It was kind of mid. Anyway, now that the Blood Moon's over now, we can go back here. Get a war zone, you need to start playing these games. Hmm. Watch this. The swallow bow should be right here. There we go now. We travel back to Rito Village. Call of Duty Warzone 3 should be able to afford it. I want to... I can probably play it on my Xbox, but eh. Maybe, maybe. I'm just waiting. I have an Xbox One, an original Xbox One. I'm just waiting for Elder Scrolls Six. When the heck is Elder Scrolls Six coming out? They announced it was in development like in 2019, and that's like literally all we've heard. Oh, here's something interesting. Here's something interesting, guys, about Elder Scrolls Six. I heard. I heard rumors. That Elder Scrolls 6 is not coming to PlayStation, which is because didn't like Bethesda get get like bought by uh, Microsoft? So it's like coming to a uh, PC and uh, an Xbox, but it's not coming to PlayStation. Interestingly. <clears throat> Which, I mean, works for me, so I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm just waiting, I, the only, I'm only gonna upgrade to an Xbox Series X when Elder Scrolls 6 comes out. You don't have the bow, that's right, astute observation. Remake it. Diamonds don't come cheap, you know. I have my sources. <laughs> Understood, hand those materials here. On my order, I'll make you both worthy of the retail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Microsoft bought Activision long as something else. There we go. There we go. The Great Eagle Bow. Okay, I'm going to end the stream in a minute here. What's your highest donation? I think somebody may have super chatted... Like 50 bucks once. I think somebody may have super chat like 50 bucks at one point. I think that's it. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's, um... I think that's the uh, platform to, uh... One of the platforms to get up up there. Which is like the boss battle. Is it? No, that's it. I don't know. 
Esteban, what was your favorite song? Oh, I don't know. It changes from time to time. I'm still thinking. Yeah, if you upgrade to Xbox Series X, get that one over the Series S because the Series S has no CD slot. Yeah, I know. I, I do want to get the Series X, but the thing is, it's like, it's $500 versus the Series S is only $300. But the thing is, I need the disc slot. Because I buy all the games on disc, so I don't use up that much uh, 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 storage on uh, my console. And the thing is, is that Xbox has backwards compatibility on, like, PlayStation. So I want to be able to transfer all of my Xbox One game saves and Xbox 360 game saves onto my Series X. So, like, I play... Like, I have, like, games save data from Fallout 4, which I have on Xbox One, Fallout 3, and Fallout New Vegas, which I have on Xbox 360, but they are playable in Xbox One, and they're all, they are playable in Xbox Series X. And I can transfer my save data over, but the thing is, I need that disc slot in order to play it, because I have the, all those games on disc, so... But it is kind of nice. That That's why Xbox is better than PlayStation, in my opinion, because it has great backwards compatibility. Anyway. It's getting late, guys. I gotta get going. If you guys want to send a super chat of, uh, of $3 and above so that total read it, now's the time to do it. It has to be appropriate, though. Let's not get into the console wars right now, Issa. Sorry, Xbox is better. Because of the backwards compatibility. Backwards compatibility alone make, increases your game library so much on one device. PlayStation 4 does not have any backwards compatibility. PlayStation 5 has it only for a few digital downloads, not on disc. Is my understanding. Versus Xbox One can play pretty much all Xbox 360 games and most original Xbox games. Same thing with the Xbox Series X. So then you can play all the old games, or most of them anyway, um, on, on your new console. Who doesn't want that? Controller though. Oh, what? Oh, the, the, the PlayStation controller, the, the, the vibration feels a little bit better. Oh, it's a, a touchpad that 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 you'd never use. Uh, oh, it has a gyroscope. Okay, firstly, one, who cares if it has slightly better rumble? Two, who has ever used that crappy touchpad on the PlayStation controllers? And three, uh, have you ever used a gy uh, gyroscope to aim? So, like, I'm using a gyroscope right now on my uh, Switch Pro controller. But who honestly uses that to aim? Who honestly uses that? No, a battery pack is that? Oh, who cares? Yes, the controller is objectively worse, but it's not much worse. I think I expect the better games backwards compatibility, but PlayStation runs so much better. And the controller is way better. I don't know. I don't know how, much, how well it runs. All I know is that my Xbox runs fine. Oh, well, the, the load screens are like 10 seconds uh, faster on the PlayStation. Oh, okay. It's, it's 10 seconds. I can wait 10 seconds. Um, as for 4K consoles, I know, like, uh, I don't have a 4K TV, which is w another reason why I haven't upgraded my Xbox. Because if I got a 4K console... I wouldn't even know it because my TV is, is only 1080p. Anyway. Alright. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to end the stream there on that note. Um. Yeah, I guess that's, yeah, that's going to do it for me tonight. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this tears of the kingdom live stream if you enjoyed please do like and subscribe it really does help out the channel a lot in the algorithm 
Normally, I would thank all our super chatters, but we didn't get any tonight, but that's okay. Um, remember, Toad Album 2 is releasing in one week. One week from today. Saturday, April 20th, 420. Uh, keep an eye out. CDs are going to be releasing. Uh, 50 copies of the Toad Album 2. 100 copies of the Toad Album 1 and 2. Uh, there's going to be t-shirts and hoodies as well. It's going to release on Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, all the rest. Uh, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do more Tears of the Kingdom streams. I just kind of did this on a whim. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But um, yeah, other than that, uh, thank you much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all later. Good night, everybody.